Right, a very good evening to you. Hoping you've had a fantastic day. Welcome to Chit Chat right here on Y254 TV. We are all about entertainment. We are all about gossip. We keep you in the know about stories that have been making headlines throughout the week. My name is Philin Jean, and of course, that is at Philin Jean on all socials. And if you're a fan of the show, you already know I have the gang gang. I do not do this show alone. I have a DJ and a rapper in studio today. But first things first, let's meet Ronald Royce, a tech head and a rapper. What's up? <laughs> yeah, what's up, my people? I go by the name Ronald to the Royce. As usual, my say it's Sunday. Thank you so much for sacrificing your time. Today, you know, it's a resting day, but see to Kwapa Kwa entertain. So as usual, Maze, don't go nowhere because we are about to start that thing. <laughs> what thing? <laughs> <laughs> the party. Are you serious? <laughs> you're, party. you're sounding too serious. It's not that serious. <laughs> anyway, DJ Sweet K, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? How are you doing today? Okay, I'm mm. doing fine, man. Looking good, kama kawaida. You na niona wacha ni fix kwanza my ni six pack yangu. Let me fix my six pack. Okay. Okay. Up right. Flex, flex. Let me flex. Okay. By the way, I go by the name the lyrical DJ Sweet K. Come turn down. Kwa kijamii unapata kama DJ Sweet K. Mhm. Na tu kwa apa. Mhm. Kongi na wewe. Mambo ni mengi. Muda ndio mchache. These two have a thing in common. Aside from like being really professional in their different fields, we are not pin up your daku. That's why we are. We we. Filin, sweet key. Filin, umbea unaitaji bidi. So vivu. Open them. Umbea. Me na kwamba hey hey. Kwa zo nona vya me varad leo na kamtu abuchari. Ana kado abuchari. Red is for dangerous, not even love. So <laughs> you know what? You know what? Let's get the, 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 the show started rather. And of course, Vilesu Sema. Tea room is officially open. open. So let's see some tea right here. And you're sitting in Kenya where an, an uh, identified alumni of Mount Kenya University shocks Kenyans after he chose to set up his official documents. Now, the man filmed himself. Uh, dipping his academic credentials into a metallic cooking pot with flames of fire. Now, the video received mixed reactions from Kenyans, with some people advising him to exercise patience, even in the face of adversity. Now, suggesting that it would be wise to wait for better times ahead. Anyway, we do not just... I basically was like, you know what? Why do I have papers that are not helping me? Kila malu kienda, akuna kazi, akuna kazi. You know what? I don't need them. Because he's mad and frustrated, he decides to ban his own credentials. Like that is, I don't know. I can't speak for himself. I cannot judge him because. Anyway, Sitke, do you still have your paper? <laughs> 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 yani filin itabitu acha matusi hapa on set. Hapana I'm just yani, because ah, you just ask you politely ask do you have your papers? papers. <laughs> they have to go to their mom. He still imetoka wapi? Where is the still? Mm -hmm. Where is the by the way, you're a mom. I channel your story. I channel your. So, anything to do with my purpose field? Eh? Let me be honest. Yeah. CG music, I'm happy. Okay, CG. I'm going to Malaysia, Raymo. I'm going to get a bad certificate. I'm going to listen to one of them. I'm going to Kama manamu poteza socks. That's what I mean. Eh? Kama manamu poteza socks. Moja na bakisha moja. Sasa paper sana peleka wapi. Anyway, manamu ni jasho. Um, let's get the point. I think um, wasesa i wame. Mavijana, le, what can I say? Mavijana, you come up so easy. When I should go to understand, kuwa you go to school, kupata yo education, unafundishu wa vitu zingine. Lakini when you get outside school, kuna life after school. Life after school, ndo sasa ile knowledge unambiwa gua. Eh, wanatafta ukona thirty five years, na unambiwa i job ina taka thirty five years experience. Mtu wangu kwa grau lazima kuwe patient. Purpose. As you kupati, see gateway yoku kupata job. Yoni ni education tu mefundishwa shule. It's, it's a system. Yeah? Yoni ni edu education system. Doma ina ituwaga education system. Ukifika huku kutafta job, mtu wangu ni tricks zako sasa. Na job ni mob. Si, si lazima tikitu mesomea, ndio kitu utafanya. Mi ni mesomea CICT, ni mefanya, ni mefanya IT, ni mefanya um, eh, BCOM. Ni mefanya a lot of things kwa life. Lakini I ended up to be a DJ and a presenter on TV. You understand? <laughs> so... I think alitumia yo sufuria vibaya. Ange itumia for githeri purposes and something else, ha? I just... Maybe yo githeri la kuna ya pita. I think sufuria manza kupata new meaning. Kwa sababu utaimia mandamano liyona inavaliwa kama kofia. Saizi naona sari mekwenia kupika masat. But at the end of the day, vijana tujichungi huko inje. Na nikiongea hivi kuna msee, nimetoka tu wapa sahi. Nimepigiwa simu is a very good friend of mine. 
amejinyonga wacha huyu amechoma ah. yeye amejinyonga juu ame apply ame apply visa to US no. and then ameanguka exam yeah yeah this are true story I'm, I'm not cooking something amejinyonga na alikuwa in the US alikuwa fanya exam this uh, this coming week yeah ame apply for the you know the exams i think filin unajua na rona eh? unajua imaneno so ameanguka the exam so amekuwa denied hiyo uh, visa uh, well, before fikie visa bado kuna exam unajua sasa kupita exam si kupata visa ngoja hizi exam zina kwa everywhere sikuizi eh mtu wangu ziko everywhere baka no, baka gedo baka gedo zimefika like, i'm so sorry like of course his family so, and the fact that he's lost his yeah. life but is it necessary can you remember okay na majuu so, yeah. yeah. ama yeah. what is the reasoning behind that yeah that's why nakwambia felin as as naongea kuhusu huyu mwenye anachoma kuna huyo mwenye amejichoma sasa ye yeah, like finished ame, ame, amesema life yake ana terminate kwa sababu na ni the same thing bado angepita exam ingekuwa ni papers that, mm-hmm. there's another graduate mm-hmm. uh, i saw there's another graduate actually this story has also been in the media mm-hmm. they also did the same thing the, you, what is it case talking about just because mm-hmm. i'm a graduate and he's been home for a while na japata job so i don't know ronald mm. What is happening? Na majority ni wanaume. Ni nini mnago through hii yenye inaendelea? Because huyu ni boy. When you sit together ni boy pia. Eh ni boy child. Boy child. So I'm like what is happening? Man, I mko sawa. Ni kunaenda aje. We are depressed. No, the, 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 I always tell you. When I was growing up, I wanted to be a pilot. Niko nataka kuendesha ndege. Right now I'm a farmer, a poultry farmer. Na weka ndege. So the end game ni ndege ni ndege sio ni kwenda kuendesha ndege lakini sasa hii naweka ndege now the other thing is women we are always um, emotional ikifika when Men are like, emotional. yes ni wana tunajinyonga because uh, there are certain stresses there are certain things in us we can never uh, tuwezi zitoa nje so the only way kuzitoa nje is by us uh, like uh, unaenda unaka chini una evaluate your life you cannot help one, two, three, four. especially now that if you are um a breadwinner in a, in a family utajipata you are losing a lot when it comes to being uh, the most responsible guy so i want a job umesoma i want but you know that is not the solution though it's like, not but you doing that you're only causing more harm to your family to your friends like you see you also leave them depressed there is always a solution like you know doing that is i don't think that is the solution I, even though things are thick mona leo nini kumeshomeka mona to kumeshomeka leo still like kuna watu like that is their livelihood they literally wake up in the morning you know hustle yao na leo it went up in flames the same thing that has been happening in gikomba I'm just wondering do you think there's someone behind that as well is the fires because um, they are not natural with, not with the with, with the gikomba fires mm-hmm. i think it uh, or your stiff competition in um, uh, among us them uh, the, the business uh, men and women at gikomba kwa sababu ni kitu imekuweki happen for the longest time yeah i understand for yeah. the longest time so i think is not at sia kuna kitu behind them uh, behind it they are behind it mtu anajua mtu anajua umeleta leo stock eh ya mita tano so nataka kumnyorosha so anaamua usiku tu tumalize hii maneno and then pia kuna hizi land issues za Kenya tu za kawaida jo nilionda juzi gikombani kaona sijui kuna place imejengwa sijui special for what and what and what so kuna hizo land issues uh, apart from wale wenye wanakuja tu ku lease and sell man get mm-hmm. so ni mambo mob lakini tukirudi huko feel eh Acha niambie watu hii huko nje wenye wanamaliza shule makampo sijui whatever nyi wote ni watu hii yeah? ukifika huko nje education is not the end of everything kipchoge sidani kama anatumia gapi papers zake ku win the inios challenge sidani kama elon musk ako na hizo papers za kufikisha kutengeneza hizo matesla sidani kama jo eh, nini bill gates ako so smart enough kutengeneza microsoft office za computer zote ni watu wanafanya hiyo job and you can do that papers hazizi kupeleka mahali but papers yeah. zinakufikisha mahali mm-hmm. I, know, I, I remember there's someone who said this like at ye alikuwa na alikuwa na mkae kuna na shule wale mnakonga alikuwa na ita list mbili za wale wenye wame ina top 5 actually top, top 3 alafu kuna wale wakuvuta mkia pia mm-hmm. top 3 sasa alikuwa ule top, top 3 wale oh, the last 3 so ye alikuwa juanga tu hii kitu yangu ni ile tu azazi wana mfosa aende shule so he did it went to school finished at the kind of form but by the time he was getting his e he was very comfortable <laughs> with 
Because I don't have any questions about the Panga Ki life. Then you go home and go to the camp, you go four years, five years, and even seven years. By the time you go to the job, you can go to the Panga Mapema Kijua. Education will not be his way out. So by the time you go to the Panga Mapema Kijua, you can go to the Panga Mapema Kijua. You can go to the Panga Mapema Kijua. So like, I don't think we should like, make such a big fight with education, especially right now in the era of content creation. Kila mtu ni kwa content and yeah. where everything is content. Feline, mm -hmm. I think uh, the you problem is that. Mm -hmm. the problem is our system of education. You remember mm -hmm. when you were growing up, the motto everywhere was education is the key to success. But that is no longer the case, though. I know, I know. Right now, if you look at uh, the CBC, we are trying to nurture our kids so that whatever talent they have, it's something that can sprout out of them. They let them use the talent to be able to uh, to to prosper in life. Yeah. other than education. That's why at, in most cases, the content creation, if you see uh, the, the people who are doing agriculture, anyone who is doing, maybe rapping and the DJing, you see everybody's trying out something new. Not the, 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 the usual, you're supposed to be a lawyer, supposed to be a pilot, you're supposed to be. So we are trying out new things other than the norm. During our times, when we were growing up, you remember our fathers used to beat us. We were growing up, we because it used to be war. They used to have this kind of notion that Uspopita, then you're also failing in life. You failed. Yeah. But that is no longer the case. Like, I'm so sorry to the families that have been affected by that, by the way. And Koyo Comrade Mose. I don't know, like, ipo siku, wama nyeze? Ya, ipo siku. Itajipa, itajipa, itajipa. Like, just keep, don't, don't lose faith. And we move on to another story. And rapper Chiyo Mio's mother, Aymar Sakwa, recently notified the police of online threats her son has received just weeks after he was robbed at gunpoint. In a now-deleted tweet, uh, an, an identified individual uh, fiercely threatened the rapper's life. Now, Aymar also expressed worry about the prevailing insecurity in their neighborhood and emphasized that they had reported the issue to Tasia police station. For those who do not know to you, Mio and you are wondering who we are talking about, we have a video of just him doing his thing. And of course, we also had a photo of that tweet we are talking about. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do people think, okay, I, I, there's a guy I, I hosted a while back and he was talking about uh, your time, Daniel Kwame Shutiwa. Uh, this rapper, when you can like, offset, I don't know, what's, what's his name? Take off, right? Mm -hmm. Take off. And we're talking about, like, in the States, if a rapper tells you they're going to shoot you, they will shoot you. I said, Kenya, you just sing for the sake of it. Like, when I say, oh, I will kill you, but they, you don't actually mean it. So, uh, I was reading some comments, and guys are like, Why are you snitching at you? Oh, you're running to the police, you know? And why are you running to the police? You're becoming a snitch at no you say, no naimbanga, like, you know, one and two things, whatever, whatever. So, what's your take on that? Like, um, you know, he was clearly being threatened. I was saying, like, they tweeted that. They deleted the tweet, yes, but the, the mom has it on her IG page. So, I don't know. What do you think about that, CK? Uh-huh. Yo, trio mio. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. What is that? <laughs> uh, let's talk about uh, all this situation. I think uh, we are not in that era yet. We are not in that era yet. Mm -hmm. 2000 wa kina tupak wa kisplash na kina BID wa kikuwa na hizo ma pressures uh, uh, you have done that now we we'll have to do this hizo uh, ma east coast uh, na west coast beef uh, I think uh, Ron unelewa yo maneno juwe ni, ni rapper uh. mm -hmm. um, shida ya kukuwa star you, it comes with the consequences kitu ya kwanza safety yako muhimu place unaishi hood yako jugi kwa star mtu wangu whether uko na doa mauna nobody cares ni kila mtu anajua uko na do. Sasa kama anasikia alikula pesa ya mchango, sijui ni mchango ya nini. But hey, tu hii pesa tu. So, mukichangana na boys kuwa loyal eh? Kuwa leo na kuwa loyal na gang yako mtu wangu. Eh mkichango usipita na pesa ya, ya kamati. Uh, but that's just a later moment. Uh, I think kama mama ko worried na trio mio pia ni mse anafaa kukuwa amekuwa tu poa place fulani. Na trio mio ni one of the artists nimeona kifanya shows zenye I cannot guess out. Analipu wa poa. Mm. Tio mio analipu wa poa. Cause ni one of the artists <coughs> ni memret. Watu wa memkompea na isa na anafanya kazi yake legit. Mm. So mom, eh, uh, mom, whatever you watch the show, please take your son out of Tasia. Tafta nyumba place enye mko so much confidential. Because babu the streets out there doesn't understand uyo ni trio mio amuna pesa ama mjakuwa na show for, for two months. 
the streets understand to me ame mess up watapita naye kwa sababu wana believe yeye ni star na labda kitu kidogo tu akifanya wana believe yes see human being people see celebrity like uh, like a god yeah? let me put like a god somewhere wana believe aezi mess so vitu kama hizi ufikia maselebu wengi wanajipata kwa ngori kwa sababu people believe celeb afai ku mess so kama tu mimi mess kama yeye yeah, unajua pia tu mimi ni mdogo eh anaweza kuwa mess labda na anaweza kuwa mess anaweza kuwa mess hata na amenokiwa na dem jirani hapo hivyo na labda alikuwa ni dem ya mbogi yeah, alafu <laughs> aletewe shida you know so vitu kama hizo happen so mm. i think feel yeah. you know? right. mm-hmm. what do you think about that especially the fact that the mom is insisting Trial kwa rock the other day mm-hmm. at gunpoint uh alibiwa and then the mom spoke about that a lot just a few days after a few weeks after that then these these guys threatening to analyze him imagine that i know i know but to mm-hmm. me is just being stubborn ah what i mean is being stubborn in the industry and also to me is star born okay Mm-hmm. So this means that this guy everybody is trying to emulate what Tumi is doing and then the other thing is Tumi has been making money as CK was saying and uh, a lot of things would be coming up. I work for a company that also gave him some endorsement. So what I would advise to me or mom is but to me your person as you just hire security so that the guy cannot I can avoid it. Exactly. You think so? Ah, so that he cannot be vulnerable. Yeah, toke hood. Ah, toke to hood kabisa. Maze, unaona places kama ele la vi, he can be able to make it right now because yeah. see, I remember the shule the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So right now is the the star in him is now shining even brighter. So mtoe tu tasia, mpeleke place in the fit. Yep. I don't know about that, but we hope he's going to be okay. The mom already forwarded the case to the DCI, and I hope they're going to follow it up. Because we need to talk jokes, and then when it happens, they're like, guy, no, you're quite serious. So before we get to that, I hope they'll do the right thing. And we move on to another story, and content creator Andrew Kibe shared a humbling encounter where he was denied the opportunity to meet Saudi Soul while they were in, on tour in the States. He alleges that he had contacted the group's manager beforehand, seeking an interview only to be informed that the band members had no interest in meeting him. Of course, we cannot make this talk. And of course, Kibe being Kibe, we are so sorry about the FY. We literally just slipped there. But yes, so you got the point. Kibe anasema he was really looking forward to attending Saudi Soul's concert because they are definitely super talented. They're the best boy band we have in Africa right now, I know. Alafu, he tried really hard. I think he spent like a lot of money on tickets, you know, on the plane, a lot of hours, left everything. Kuna kuona was say anasema yeye alikuwa na join a big deal, yeah. They know who Kibe is. And then they're like Kibe who? Kibe what? Kibe nah. Kibe ba, you know, you don't want to see him. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just said, "Mama, I'm paying me. I'm a Kibe is just too entitled. What are we thinking, sweet girl?" <laughs> oh, Kibe all day, every day. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, I think unajua Kibe upenda kuingilia sana madam. Na labda sauti sol juu alikuwa na fanya gender balancing for in the recent past. Eh, alikuwa na fanya gender balancing. Labda waliona huyu mzee anapenda kutuingilia sana juu anaingilia uh, members members eh mnaelewa sasa hivi kutaja members What do you mean? Now now with the gender balancing from Saudi Soul and what Kibe eh brand ya Kibe unajua eh yanasemaga one mouth two ears open them now for the gender balance labda uh, ndugu yetu aliamua kusema ama dada yetu aliamua kusema aya hapana huko mimi kama mnaenda interview mimi sitaenda so now the other said had to follow the fancy fingers and the others eh unajua si sifai kutaja majina yote mimi usahau majina uh, you all know about kibe kibe is not a good brand where you just have to go and do an interview if you're not prepared you understand the interview alifanya na jalango eh mpaka wako wanataja hapo badala ya kutaja sabina mheshimiwa anataja sabina joy Kibe can destroy your brand in one second. Yeah? <laughs> and at the same time, Kibe can build your brand. So, kwa sababu ya Kibe vile ame ame, ame project mm-hmm. uh, the way he does his content. Yeah. Some people will shy away kwa sababu the people like the likes of Saudi Soul unajua they try to maintain a clean brand uh, uh, as long as uh, nini, as much as wako na agenda balancing kwa kwa crew yao, still Saudi Soul is one of the African pop stars when you wanna maintain a very clean brand sijai ona kiki from sauti sol any yeah. not ever one so when you go to kibes interview you have to be prepared for 
some awkward questions you know so labda ndo maana wali hepa unajua pia manager lazima haezi choma na sasa hiyo anafanya right. US tour eh ama do you think maybe the manager didn't even tell Saudi soul na labda manager ali ambaye anakasema uni nani like miss mtabui right. like you know and manager shout out to Saudi soul they said they have not broken up initially according to the statement they gave out uh, they gave out ili kwa nakani kama they have broken up but they're like they clear the air and said they're just going on a short hiatus they're going to take some time off to focus on personal projects and they'll they'll re, you know reconnect pretty soon but they they are not broken up on also yesterday the well for nearly kitu kama wao being sauti soul at the stand big uh, boys to men mm -hmm. event hapo tu hapo tu hapo tu tuna na join wapi si mbali but anyway 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 yeah run talk to us about that kife being kife kama kawaida um sk america vipo sana kife is someone who can make a brand or destroy it but in this case i think i'm a part of wall because you know Uh, so this all is is a brand that was built ever since hata kifa yakokuwa anajulikana kifa by then uh, kina sauti solo kimba uh, the kahawa thing i think kifa ndo <laughs> ki, the kahawa thing <laughs> <laughs> nikupeleke java wenyewe ka you remember yeah. i think kifa bado alikuwa pasta by then <laughs> so this time round amepata mtu mwenye ameji build mm -hmm. watu wenye umeweka mizizi Mm -hmm. Omega Foundation he can never destroy these guys because Saudi Soul is a name that and a brand that has made itself. Yeah. So <clears throat> him being denied I see skip by. Unajo if you skip by na huko kwao. And I skip by by na huko. Mtu akikukataa usisikie vibaya. Eh wewe chukua tu na safi. So basically mnasema dawa ya kibe ni Saudi Soul. Hiyo tu amepata match yake. Ama ni nyako. Yeah, I keep in Nyako about the Saudi soul by the way because you know who Nyako is, right? I'm a part of my yeah, is, yeah. Nyako, Nyako can destroy anybody <laughs> in a matter of a second. <laughs> I think kuna watu wamezaliwa tu destroyers. I think these people should be sent one day in Afghanistan to do something. Kibela Nyako, but they were going up against each other on Twitter. Kuliko kumwaka not Twitter rather TikTok. Kuliko kumwaka moto. Nyako and Nyako right now by the way he, she had a very important message that I think everybody needs actually to just like um uh listen to. Nyako alisema right now with the way things are, uchumi ni mbaya. I know that you have like millions zinaozea tuko bank they're just sitting pretty sitting zinangoja siku utazihitaji you know and people are suffering like she was literally crying. Unajua ndio ufanye Nyako aliye si kawaida. Nyako was in tears. Akisema like this is not the Kenya she left. Like people are really suffering. Kuna watoto wana food like people go for days without eating. Do you know that? It's bad. It's bad. Akisema like right now you're supposed to be a brother skipper. Like just take care of who you can like how can i do say dia like help a neighbor help a friend help someone at home no feeling yeah. uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay it just okay. go ahead nikukata kidogo now now that nyako amefika huko akasema anafaa kwa brothers we have to be brothers keepers i may notice you yeah yeah wakati alikuwa na date ule jamaa kwa ako CRB ya US akimwambia mwambia helicopter na choppers and everything akimpick akoona huyu mzee ako kwa CRB amuokoe ama juu sasa ameona sisi tuna no, demand sana but for people am hmm? ukona Jusel kwa super and she paid for a lot of people uh, and kwa kama ukote unga 4 kg na 2 kg sugar like she did that in this format for a lot of people hiyo ni content creation kulikuwa na camera kama kawaida kulikuwa na camera naona pili aliona yeah you know anytime Okay, so she send me keeping the camera home. People mm -hmm. say if you are helping, keep the cameras home. She send me that you have to keep the cameras but, home. But listen, nowadays listen, listen, people do it for the cameras. Listen, he, mm -hmm. This is the thing. She was live on TikTok. Mhm. Mm and then mm -hmm. this person had uh, approached her. Akozele za unaweza ni baya. Unajua vile tu unaweza na ulivyote because you are TikTok, you are on TikTok. I know you, I follow you. Ni kwa basic ke asi uko ataka uko live, ni kwa basic unilipi hii. Alafu useme sawa. Alafu pia mwenye kwa jumla yake aseme na mimi, alafu aseme sawa nyinyi wote kila mtu basi aokote hivi na hivi mm -hmm. na hivi. Na kazima kamera. Why would she do that? She was already live. She was like okay now. Angalia na live yake wanunua alafu walipe. That's content. But I think Ron you had something to say. Yeah yeah, what I was saying mazimu na jusa hii unga ni to 50 2kg. Alafu 2kg ya sukari ni punch. So that means if you have a 1000 shillings you only get two things. So just remember hata kama tunaambia bia brothers keeper mimi mwenyewe siwezi siwezi kujijiafford. Oh keeper mwingine how will I be able to afford them? Mzee maisha ni ngumu ni hali mbaya. Mzee mwenyewe mimi siwezi jisaidia. Eh mimi mwenyewe siwezi jisaidia na dikenda chosi siwezi jisaidia. 
punch punch plus 250 ni ni 750 750 mm-hmm. eh periton ni 5 bob nalala the whole day ukiamka uko safe na but you guys are bringing jokes to this matter and it's serious me i'm thinking by the way if you're in a position to help can he help but there's here at a sometimes that pia mimi uko sa like kuna time hata unaweza niambia nikusaidie na mimi sina unajua like for real i don't have like i want to help yeah, see, but whatever you want i um, also don't have fi, like fill in. but i'm just thinking fill like, if i'm in a position to like, i should be able to help yeah fill in uh, i beg your pardon huh? let me just argue like this nowadays kuna kitu inaitwa generosity mm-hmm. but nowadays kuna that generosity into content Mtu hakusaidii kwa sababu alikuwa anataka kukusaidia. Anakusaidia juu anataka kuonyesha, anakusaidia ama anaweza saidiana ama mm. akona uwezo wa kusaidiana. But genuinely, msa akishafanya hivyo, akirudi home anajiuliza maswali mengi mno. Ama mno. Yes, okay. ama mm. anakusaidia akionyesha kwa kamera ndio amotivate wengine wasaidiane. Mimi nakwambia Listen. Mimi nakwambia niki wana best wazungu mimi ugopata kupigapi kupiga picha nao wanaweza sema eh tulienda Afrika tukapata DJ mwingine amechapa mm. so tumemsaidia <laughs> tumemsaidia we are going on a break we are going on a break <laughs> <laughs> let's go on a, let's take a break we're coming right back ndani ya tuunga peke yake why 254 imagine